Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to import the Oakland demo. On this domain I have installed the VP Residence team and the team included plugins. To be able to import the demo I will need to activate the team. Here I will need to add my license code. I will click check license. My theme is now activated. The team supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the demo icons to be imported along with the demo import you will need to install the SVG support plugin. You will need to go to plugins, click add new, look for the SVG support. This is the plugin that you need to install. Click install now, activate the plugin and set it to apply only from admin. Click Settings and tick the Restrict to Administrators checkbox. Save changes. And now we can proceed with the Oakland demo import. I will go to VP Residence Options, Import Demo. Here you will find all team available demos. This is the Oakland demo. I will click Import Demo continue and import and now I will wait for the import process to be finished. The process might take a few minutes. The import process is complete. I will now click visit site. The property for this demo have been imported with the MLS import plugin. The properties are real and they will be seen only in the official demo. The properties from the MLS import cannot be included in the demo import from copyright reasons. After the demo import, you will have dummy listings that you can delete and replace with your own or you can edit and add your own details. Also, the MLS import plugin will need to be purchased separately from the team. Next, I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. First, I will show team options. I will go to VP Residence options. Here, you will need to replace demo settings with your own. You will be able to change country, upload your own logo. In map section, you will need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can keep OpenStreet or select Google Maps. If Google Maps will be selected, then a Google Maps API key will need to be created and added in the site. In membership section, you will be able to choose the paid submission type. You will be able to set per listing or membership. Also, you will be able to set the team payments PayPal and Stripe or enable WooCommerce and in search section you will be able to set the team search options. You will be able to select the search type that you want to use and make other settings. Next you will need to set permalinks. You will need to go to settings permalinks. Post name will need to be checked and save changes. I will go back to the home page. The demo elements have been imported, but for some sections like this one, you will need to make manual adjustments to make it look as the official demo. In this section, we use property categories and since on import, the categories IDs will not be the same, you will need to manually upload an image for each category used. First, I will show how this section was created. Since the home page was created with Elementor plugin, I will click edit with Elementor. I will scroll down. Here we use the VP Residence Display Categories widget. You will need to manually select the categories that you want to show here. I will select random ones just to show how this section works. You will need to do this for each element in this section. After you finish adding all categories, you will need to save changes and go to admin to upload images for each category used. The property categories can be found under properties. They are categories type city, neighborhood, county, features and amenities and property status. I will start with category. To upload an image, you will need to edit the category. Press upload image button. You can select an image from your device or from media. I will select one from my device. Press insert into post. 
and update the change. I will go back to the home page. I will refresh the page. You will see that now for apartments category the image will show. I will show another example. This time I will go to neighborhood. I will edit the category. Press upload image button. Select an image from my device. Insert into post and update. The steps are the same for each category, so I will add the rest of the images of the record and after show the results. I added all images, now the section shows as the official demo. Lower on the page you will have another section that uses property categories, here you will need to do the same. I will go back and I will show how the second section was created, I will scroll down to that section. Here we use the VP Residence grids that was set to display only category. For this section the images will also need to be manually uploaded. The steps are the same, so I will add these images of the record as well. I added all images for the second section as well. These are the steps that you need to take before and after the demo import. Next I will show some quick guidelines on how to edit the home page element. I will go back to the Elementor home page. Here I have Navigator enabled to have better access for each page section. You can enable it from here. I will start with the first section which is the header one. Here we use an image with text and a search form. The image was added as background image for the column. You will find it in style section. Here you can delete the demo image and upload your own. Next you will be able to edit this text and for the search we used the search form builder. Here you will be able to enable tabs, change the search fields and make other settings. The settings that you make in team options for the advanced search will not apply here and for this the settings need to be made only in this section. Going further to the next section, here we created elements with SVG icon and text. For the icon we used icon box widget from Elementor. You will be able to upload your own SVG icon and change the text. You will need to do this for each element. Next we have the section that I previously described where we use the VP Residence display categories. For the next section we display the latest properties using the VP Residence items list widget. You will be able to change settings like number of items and number of items per row and also you will be able to apply filters to display only the properties that you want. Going further to the next section we have created a section with text and buttons. The image for this section was set as background image for the column. You will find it in style section. Also you will be able to change the background overlay color and opacity. Next in the first column here we added the text editor. You will be able to change the text. For the button we used the button widget from Elementor. You will be able to add custom link and change settings. And for the second column you will be able to edit the text and the details for the button as well. Going further to the next section, you will have the featured category section that I already described. For the testimonial section, we use the VP Residence testimonial widget. You will be able to change client details like name, image and text. You will need to do this for each element. For the next section, we created a section where you can display your agents. We used the VP Residence Agent Grid section. You will have the option to select the agents that you want to display, change grid type and make other settings. Next you will find the block section. Here we display blog posts using the VP Residence, using the VP Residence blog post list. You will be able to filter post and make other settings. Going further, you'll have the contact section that was created with text and the contact form. The image set for this section was set as a background image for the column. You will be able to change it from the style section. Here you will be able to delete the demo image and replace it with your own. Also you will be able to change overlay color and make other settings. In the first column we added text and button. 
and in the second column we created this contact form using the contact form builder you will have the option to change fields and make other settings and for the last section in the page we have created a list using the icon list widget from elementor here you will be able to change each list element you will be able to change text icon and link this wraps our video thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to get instant notifications on new videos